We're so excited to have been chosen as one of seven hydrogen hubs nationally. The money we are receiving will help to create a hydrogen hub, which will further our efforts to help seed a robust green hydrogen market to assist in the pursuit of zero emission operations. I was ecstatic to hear that we, we were awarded the hydrogen hub. It validated what we already thought, that hydrogen is going to play a role in decarbonizing our industry. 2050 carbon neutrality goal. The goal cannot be achieved by just electricity, and therefore hydrogen plays in the role very significantly. The transition to hydrogen as a big part of our effort to decarbonize, the way we're going to power our future, is going to create all kinds of new technologies, spin-off businesses, new jobs, better jobs. One of the challenges is we have to make sure we have the infrastructure to support these new technologies. We need fueling stations. We need to make sure that trucks and port equipment have access to hydrogen when and where they need it. We're testing two top handlers. We expect great things from both these machines. I'm excited to see what they do so we can deploy these things in a larger scale on the terminal. We first started with hydrogen, felt like we needed to really partner with the longshore labor, essentially bring them along from the very beginning. The, the ILW's priorities moving forward for zero emission is to make sure that there's equipment with human operators. For the terminals to understand that we also want the clean and safe environment with clean air and uh, good jobs in the community. We need to make sure that we are not just training the current workforce for the things that we do today, but we need to train the future workforce for the things that they're going to be doing tomorrow. We'll ensure that our labor partners are working together to make sure that we are cleaning up these engines, cleaning up the environment, and hanging on to these great jobs and building even more jobs. This would not be possible without the state partners, Governor Newsom and ARCHIS. ARCHIS stands for the Alliance for Renewable Clean Hydrogen Energy Systems. 2030 is a lot closer than people think, and I think this kind of money will really help accelerate everyone's drive towards zero emission. This brings us one step closer in advancing our clean air goals. It will be a game changer for the state, both in terms of transitioning to a zero carbon economy, but also in terms of providing a better quality of life and better health outcomes for our people. So it's a win-win situation.